So if you've ruptured your Achilles and you've had an operation or you're waiting for an operation or you're being managed conservatively without an operation, you're probably at some point gonna be given one of these boots. Now there's two types of boots that you'll be given. Normally there's two. There's one that's called the Vacoped and then there's one uh, that's called an Aircast boot, which we will also talk about uh, in the next video. Now the Vacoped, very fancy looking boot, we're gonna go through what the important things are and more importantly, quite often when you get these, you get given an awful lot of information uh, and you need to remember exactly what to do and it's so important that you're in the right position at the right stage of your, for the healing process. So the first thing is often it's gonna come with two soles. You can see the bigger sole which is much bigger at the back and thinner at the front. So that's gonna keep your foot in a toe pointed position, what we call a plantar flexed position. And generally at the beginning uh, of the healing process, you need to be in full plantar flexion, which is around 30 degrees. And we're gonna show you how to do that. But first of all, you must make sure at the beginning uh, of this uh, treatment process that you're using the thicker heel. If you do need to change the heel, then you can see there's just a little button on the side there and there's the same on the other side and you just push them together and it comes off. So make sure you've got the big heel. If you need to put it back on, you can just slide it up and just wait till you hear the click and then you know it's securely on. So the next thing to look at with the boot is to look at the back and it does look quite fancy and quite complicated. So it is important you know how to use it. First thing to do, is just to take this clip off here. Now hopefully, you've, and I'm sure you have been set up in the right position, but at the beginning of your treatment, what you need is you need the boot at that 30 degree plantar flex position so your toes are down, your Achilles is nice and short and it's healing well. So you can see there's two um, buttons here. The first thing to do to make sure that you're in that 30 degree position um, is that this one should be as high as possible. So all you do is you push it in, you twist it, you pull it out and you lift it up twist it and come back out. So now you can see that's high. But because these two aren't together, you can see it's got the ability to move. And at the beginning um, of your treatment with the boot, you don't want that, that to move at all. As you, get, as you progress on, you will change it so it does move and we'll show you how to do that in a minute. Then what you do is you just take the one at the bottom, you lift up. You need to make sure that the boot is fully plantar flexed. So you can see that that is touching the top. So it's really locked in there. And then you come up and you twist and you come out. Then you can obviously put that back in. And now you can see that that doesn't move at all. It's nice and solid. And you can see the foot and the toes are gonna to be pointed. So you're getting the shortening of the Achilles to make sure the ends are together and you're healing well. So after around four weeks, it's normal for your consultant or your physiotherapist to ask you to change the angle of your foot. At the moment, it's at 30 degrees and you can see there'll be a little three there. And both of these two buttons are close together. So to change it, what we do is we take out um, this bit of plastic from up here. We keep the top one where it is and all you need to do is to change the bottom button. So again, you just pop it in, rotate, pull out, and you can see it loosens off. Now, what you'll see here is these little teeth. Each tooth is five degrees at the foot. So sometimes your consultant will ask you to do five degrees every half a week, or some may say just to do two uh, every week. It will depend on your protocol. Um, so if we just do two teeth, so one, two, and then we can lock it in. What you can see now is that the foot is actually allowed to move. You'll probably be quite relieved by that, but it's still in that plantar flex downward position, but it gives you some mobility. And as you progress through the eight or nine weeks that you're gonna use the boot, you're gonna end up with this button going down to zero. And at that point, you'll be able to go into your shoe, and we would recommend that you use a heel raise for that, which we're gonna show you now. Now you've probably been put into the um, vacuped already, but at points throughout the rehab process, you are gonna to need to take it on and off. Certainly in that initial phase, it's so important, even when you're asleep, to keep your foot in that plantar flex position. Now, to put the boot on, we're just gonna go through it nice and slowly. The first thing to do um, is to make sure that the valve is open. So you just pull that open and then you can just squeeze it and pull it towards yourself. So that bit of plastic comes to the end. 
Okay. Next thing you're going to do is to open the straps that may already be open, obviously. And you can see what we've done here is we've got the foot in that plantar flexed position. We don't want that heel going down to the floor in those early stages because we don't want to lengthen that tendon. And that is what all of this is focused towards doing is to allow that to heal well. So if we take the straps off, then we can pull out the superior skeleton and obviously we can get rid of the inferior skeleton. And then what we're left with is this rather comfortable looking blanket for your feet. Make sure it's nice and smooth everywhere. Now, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that. Now we don't want to um, lose this position. So actually all you need to do is keep that position and straighten your knee and then just ask the person to just push back into the uh, back of the um, fabric there. But you can see we've still got that nice position. So we've still got the position that we need for the healing. Uh, you could just use a book or a yoga block or something just to make sure that that heel is higher than the forefoot. So we push that right the way back in. Now we're gonna start bringing this round. So we'll start at the bottom, make it nice and comfy. Doesn't need to be too tight at this point. And then you're just going to um, put the top round as well, keeping that position. And then at this point, ask your patient just to get the heel, keeping this block here, but get the heel to the back of the fabric and that's ready to go. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna use the inferior skeleton. So again, if you just ask your patient just to straighten the knee, and then obviously make sure you've got all of the straps out the way, and then your patient can just push their heel into the back of the shoe, just like that, and you can give them a little bit of help. And just with your thumb and your index finger, you can just push them all the way back. Now at this point, we can take out this block because obviously we've got the heel of the, um, uh, we've got the, the heel of the uh, vacaped, which is putting it in a good position. So we just need to slide this back, ask your patient to get the heel right as far back. I can push it in and just bring the back of the skeleton forward as well. So if we bend the knee a bit more, that's gonna be a nice position. The next thing to do is to get the superior skeleton on. So you can see you've got these flaps either side. So you're just gonna put that just underneath that bit of plastic, uh, get the straps out the way, and it's the same on the other side. Now, the first strap to get on is gonna be this strap across the middle. So it's good to get that in straight away so you get the heel all the way back. And you can always tighten it a bit more after. Obviously, you don't wanna stop their blood supply to their toes, but it does need to be quite firm because it is giving you the um, structure to make sure that you don't um, go out of that position that we want. And then obviously you can pull that strap um, and then we can also do this. Now at the top, the, the skeleton actually goes over the top so it overlaps. So just make sure they're nice and even there. So remember at the bottom it goes on the inside and at the top it goes over the top. And then if we just put these straps on. You can start off with them a little bit looser so you don't shock your person too much. But then you can always go around and just make sure you, you tighten up. Do make sure the valve is free and not overlapped by the straps. And these are really comfortable. So that should be a nice snug fit uh, for your patient. So now we've got the boot on you probably feel like you're pretty much there and you are, but actually we see lots of patients that forget to do this last bit. And particularly in the early phases, it's so important because we need to pump up the vacuped to ensure that you maintain the correct position for your ankle. So with the valve, you're just gonna push it backwards. You'll get a pump, push the pump on, and then pump up. At that point, bring the valve off and pop the lid back on and then you're good to go.